Hello guys, you're welcome back to today's class. Also welcome back to today's uh, advanced class for this upcoming post examination, guys. So if it's the first time, if it's the first time watching my video, or just be uh, see my video the first time, do it to subscribe, like, and turn your button in case what you are a benefit like this, you'll be the first person to notify. And also share this video with your friends so they can get access to this uh, lesson like this. So we have started our positive class um we saying like a ways back now but we are starting afresh we are looking at this uh, particular topic now we are seeing on this particular topic called indices okay we have indices and we have four questions here to solve under these indices um, and in case you miss a previous uh, class we are given the key part you should understand on uh, indices topic to solve any question based on these indices so i'll be I'll be using that thing to solve this question. The law of indices I'll be used to solve this question. How can you apply law of indices to solve any indices question? So I'll be I'll be look at it in this video. So we have this four question here. We solve this four question in this video. But let me do it like this. I will solve two questions. So I'll give it I'll give two as assignments for you. So guys, you guys will submit this. So if you would like to, if you want to join my uh, Telegram or my WhatsApp group or my WhatsApp channel, I'll drop the link in the screen below or in the comment section. So you can go to it, you can join our group so you can interact with us and with other uh, students there. And also guys, uh, you need the, if you need the material, uh, this particular video material or any of material for maybe positive me past question, if you need it, also join the group, shut me up so I will know how to get to in touch with you guys. So let's go and let's see uh, this how you can solve a question like this in case when it's in a question similar to this or this question and how we solve it when it's in a question like this. So let's go. The first question I have here is said that 25 raised power of s minus 1 equal to 65, 64, open bracket, 5 over 2 raised power of 6. Then s has the value of, we have the, we want to find the value of s. So to solve this question, now it's very simple, okay, what you just have to do here. So let me say the solution, okay. Let me write it out. We have a 25, we have 25 raised power of s minus 1, okay. We have equal to, we have 64, we have open bracket, that is 5 over 2, close bracket. We have a spell of six. So the first thing you have to do here, you know, in this place now, you can split this well. This part there, uh, we have a uh, five over two with spell of six here. Okay, let's apply. Uh, let's open the bracket here. Let's open the bracket we have here. So this one, if you open this bracket here, we have a twenty-five with spell of s minus one to be equal to. We have sixty-four. We have a open bracket. We have five with spell of six. Divided by, we have two raised power of six, so everything here is close brackets, okay? Because this are uh, five raised power of six and this two raised power of six. So the next thing here to do here now, if you know that this two raised power of six, it means that two multiplied by itself in six times. I explained in the previous class, okay? This two multiplied by itself what in multiplied by itself in what six times. It means that six times six times six. So if you see that uh, this two raised power of six is equal to 64. If you use the calculator, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 will give us 64. Okay, so it means that this one you have 64 here. So when you write it like this, you have a 25 now. This part of s minus 1 will be equal to, in this part we have 64. Okay, multiply by we have 5 this part of 6 divided by now is 60 what 54. So here this is the 4, we count this the 4 here. So here we miss so 5 raised power of 6. So we have a 25 raised power of uh, 25 raised power of s minus 1 to be equal to. So we have 5 raised power of words of 6. Okay, so the next thing now here, you know in this place now, this one has a base as 5 and it has a base of 25. So if you know that these are 5, can also, 25 can also, uh, can also split as 5 raised power of 2. Okay, because five times two, five times five will give us twenty-five. So it means that twenty-five can express as in this form as five is power of two. So if we should apply it to this place now, we have our five with power of two. So everything here, open bracket, we have our s minus one. Okay, it will be equal to that is five with power of six. So in this place now, this now, if we look at an expression like this, uh, no, the law of indices as I call, I call the power uh, index. I got this one power index in the previous class. So when it says special like this, it is called power index. So I'll just solve it now. 
This two we multiply by these two terms, we multiply by s and multiply by this or minus what uh, one. So it will be expressed as five with power of two, open bracket s minus one, close bracket, that equals to that six with power of six. I mean five with power of six rather. So in this place now, this five can cause this five since they have the same base. The base is five and this base is five. So this five can count this five. Okay. So we left with this that I have two open bracket, they have s minus one, close bracket, we have our six. Okay. So let's open the bracket here. That is two times s, we have two or two s minus two times one that give us two equal to our six. We have a simple equation here now. So the next thing now is to collect like sign. So when you call it like time, we have a two else equal to, so we have a this says here, we take this two to this place, this minus two here turn into plus when it comes to this place, we have a plus or plus two. So uh, six plus two, that gives us eight. So it means I have two or two s is equal to what? Eight. And to get the value of s now, because the question say that I uh, want to get the value of s, to get the value of s, I divide both side by two, divide both side by two. So this two, we count this two here. Okay, two here we have one, two here we have four. So it means our answer S is equal to what? Four. So the answer to this question is equal to four. So if you look at the option, the option is option B. So S is equal to four. So that is how you solve the question like this. Whenever it's an equation like this, this is how you solve it. Okay, guys. Hope you guys hope you guys uh, understood this. So guys, if you understand, let me go go to the comment section and let me know uh, about it. So let's go to the next question that is question uh two hope you guys can solve this question too okay let's go how uh, you can solve this question too so the question to state that uh, let me try to create space okay i will try to do it eh? so the question to state that we have to uh, to find the result of we have to find the result of dividing okay we have s with power of a divided by b with power of b close brackets we have a plus b divided by we have what we are dividing this by this like you have a s with power of a, a plus b divided by a minus b open close bracket a where a squared divided by b so how do you solve this question no when it's in a question like this say wow this question is something and how you, do, you can't even solve it but it's very simple let me break it down. Let me use law of indices now to break this question down. You know that it's very simple. So let's go about it. Let's go about it. So we have, okay, I think it's our space here. So let's, let me write the question out. Let me write the question out. The question is our, our, our S with power of A, okay, open bracket rather. We have S with power of what of B, so close bracket. And this is power of a plus b. So we are divided by this. So let's say let me use the division like this. Divided by that is our s with power of what a plus b. So divided by we have our s with power of a minus b. So let's close this because it's still close and this power of what a square over b. Now let's apply law of indices to solve this question, and you see that it's very simple. So let me create my space. Let me try to do. Let's go ahead. You can solve the question. So whenever I say a question like this, you can solve this one in different uh, method. You can solve it in different method. In this way, you can use a power index, law of power index to solve this question, and you can use a law of what uh, division. Uh, so to make it more easier, let me use what power index. And how do you apply power index to this such question? So let's go. We have our a. This place. We let's open and this one is raised to the power of a. Also with power of what a plus b. This one with power of b and also with power of what a plus b. So if we should open this bracket now, we can have it like this. Our our a with power of a. Also it's also with power of what a plus b and divided by. And also we have our a b with power of uh, I mean s with power of b and also it's with power of what a plus b. So divided by. Okay, this part, okay, let me solve this part and I'll solve this part. Let me split it. Let me first solve, solve this part. So let's solve this. This will be equal to. So we have our, if we open the bracket, then that is power of uh, law of indices. This multiplied by this, also multiplied by this. 
we have our, our s raised to the power of a times b, um, a times a, that will be a square, plus that is a, a times b, that is what a b. So divided by, and here we have our b, so this b is multiplied by a, is also multiplied by what, b n. So b times a, we give also as a, a b, plus uh, b times b, we give also a b, what, b square. So let's apply what, the next thing on, you apply division law of indices. So when you apply is there, so this one can be equal to, we have our s, okay, this part of a square, okay, plus, plus a b, divided by, I'm to try to write it down here, divided by, that is our a, this will be s, this part of a b, plus, uh, that is b was square. So now, you know, this division here, since they are the same base as S, and they are the same base as S here, so now we have a division, okay? Division here will change to minus, right? So let's take the first, uh, one of the base, so we'll take the base as S, okay? Let me try to, okay? The base as S, so the first index, that is A square, okay? Plus what? We have AB, okay? And now the next index, we subtract it, that is minus, Let's open back here because it has a two pattern. That is what we have a b minus we got minus okay, we have plus here. Let me add a plus here. Plus rather b or square close bracket. So the bracket here. So to open the bracket here, okay, we have our s. So we have s with power of a square plus a b. Okay. Minus times a b we give us as minus what? Minus a b. We have minus times minus uh, minus times plus here. We give it as minus, okay? We have our b squared. So in this place now, if it's known that well, we have plus a b, minus a b, this one will give us zero. So this one will cancel. So therefore, we have our answer as our, our s squared, our s with power of a squared, okay? Minus what b was squared. So the answer for this first part, the answer for this first part here is equal to a s with power of a s with power of a squared minus what? b square that is answer to this uh, question the first pattern so let's solve the second pattern and then we divide them by this so let's take this first uh, the second part outside there so let's solve the second part now okay to solve the second part now i will use a uh, division method i use a uh, power method here to solve this so let me use division law uh, division law of indices to solve this question to make it more easier okay so we have it to be equal to if we use the division method to solve this part here, we have our, let's defer the first of the bracket here. We have our S. Since we have our S, is common to both sides. Let's take our S because the index here is S and the index here is S, okay? And we have division is equal to what is changed to minus. And the first index here, we have our A plus B, okay? Minus, this minus, this division is minus according to indices. So we have an open bracket because this one has to pass. There is A minus B. Okay, we have it A minus B here, close brackets. And also, the R also is part of what? Of A square divided by, that is B. So now, let's solve the brackets here first, the inner bracket. So minus times A, that gives us minus A. Minus times uh, minus B, that gives us plus B. So therefore, this one becomes, we have our S with part of, we have A plus B. Okay, minus times this, we give us our a minus, sorry, we have minus a. We have minus a. Minus times minus, we give us plus, and we have b. And also, the also this power of, of a square plus a square divided by b. So, the next thing here, now, you know here, we have what a plus a, when you call it like time, we have a plus, we have a minus a, this one is minus, okay? a minus a, this one, we cancel this, when you call it like time. And here we have a plus b plus b that gives us as 2b. So therefore now we have our that is a s with power of, of 2b. Okay, multiply also with power of that is a square divided by b. Okay, hope you guys understand what I did here. This a we call it like time. This a is a try this a here is positive a and here is negative a. A minus a we give us what as zero. We have plus b. We have plus b plus b, we like give us 2b. Okay, so now let's go. So if we should open this bracket, according to the power law of indices, if you open this bracket, this b we cancel this b here. Okay, why they multiply together? This b we count this b, we make 2, 2 times uh, a square, 
that I give our s is equal to 2 what a what square. So the answer for this second part is equal to 2a square. So our first part, here we get, you no, know, in this first part, we get our a raised power of, uh, we get a raised power of a, I mean, s raised power of a minus b square. So and this one, this part, we get at a s raised power of 2a square. So let's bring it together. This one, we have this. So we have our s, we have that is, that is, we have our s, that is s raised power of a square minus b was square divided by, okay, this division and divided by this, and we have what? And our s raised power of 2a square. So since they still have the same base, you can apply the word division of indices to this. So when you apply the division of indices to this, you take one base uh, that is common here, you write as a base, that is s. So the first index, we have our a square minus what? b square. And the division chain to minus, we have minus what? a square. We have this one is 2a rather. We have 2, we have 2a was square. So if we collect the like time here, we have our s square, here is a square, and this one is what uh, minus 2 was a square. So let's collect together. We have our a square minus 2a square, and we have minus what b square. So in this place now, if we subtract this, we have our uh, a square minus 2a square will give us what as uh, minus what a square minus a square so the answer of this question is equal to we have our s s raised power of minus a square minus what b was square so if we still look at it now the option here if so this is the answer now so if we check the option can we have do we have something like that in the option there no we don't have something like that this one is uh this one does not have minus this a uh, this uh, this c is not the answer to the question so if we compare with what i have here we have a s with power of a square minus b square but in the option here there's no option there's no uh this one is a square s square s is part of a square minus b square but here is not have what minus here so this is not the answer to the question so don't pick this one so let's because is this one a solution so if you should go or uh, go ahead, you know in this place, minus is common to both sides there. Yeah? So let's say that uh, minus is common to both sides. Let's write it out. So we have, we say it as s raised power of what uh, minus minus is common to both sides there. Yeah? You open brackets when you take minus outside, so you mean what a square plus b what square. So when you factorize this, this is what it gets because s minus is common to both sides. Take the minus outside. So now when you write this one, it makes what a square here. Yeah? And this one here, yeah, this plug we change to minus minus will change to minus because if we move the bracket, this time this will give you this, this time this will give you this. So that is how you factorize it. And if you still remember uh, negative law of indices, so never say that if you have a raised power of n, you can express as one over a raised power of what of n. So I uh, have I've explained this one in the previous class. So if we should apply it here, this one becomes we have our a. This, this one becomes, okay, sorry, I made a mistake here. So this one becomes, we have our, this minus is the same thing as 1 over, okay, this a, s with power of this, that give us s with power of 4, that is a square plus b was square. So the answer to this question is equal to 1 over s with power of a square plus b square. So that is the answer to this question. And where can you see it from the option? So you can see it as option there, that is option D. So D is the solution to this question. This is the solution to this question. This solution is going to D. So guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the class. Hope you understand the class. So I wish you to go ahead and solve this question, uh, question three and question four. So submit this to my group or, okay, submit this. If you haven't joined my group now, uh, you go ahead and join it. I will drop the link in the comment section. So guys, Let's solve this question 3 and let's solve question, two, uh, question 4. So guys, and submit it. So hope you guys enjoy the class. So you go to the comment section and let me know how do you feel about this class, guys. So uh, which I mean in the next video, guys. Uh, which I mean in the next video. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and touch the button in case you have benefit like this. You'll be the first one to find. Thank you, guys. Let's go to the next class.